Hello friends, my name is Professor Anwar Patel and today we are going to learn chapter number 4, Superconductors and Supercapacitor from our engineering syllabus. Now, today's topic is Supercapacitor. <music> Super, yes, we are happy with this name, super, super, like a superman, superwoman in this. Now, super capacitor. In previous lecture, we have learned about superconductor. Superconductor means a conductor which has zero resistance. Means it conducts the currents without any resistance. This is called as a superconductor. Now, similarly, we are going to learn super capacitors. Now, friends. In 40 kilometer marathon, we required what, what is necessity? Necessity is that stamina and stamina and continuity. But in 400 meter race, we required high energy density, high power capacity, like a Usain Bolt, like a Superman. So we we are going to discuss this about in this lecture. So let us start with the capacitors. Now, what is meant by capacitors? What is meant by capacitance? Capacitance, it is an electric device or electron device which, which store energy. It has capability to store energy in the form of, in the form of, in which form? Electric potential, in the form of electric potential. And how much? This energy is saved. E is equals to 1 by 2 CV square. CV square. V, where capacitance. C is the capacitance. V is the voltage of that circuit. And E is the energy of that capacitor. Now, the normal capacitance, it consists with, it consists with, capacitance consists with two plates. One is a positive plate and another one is negative plate and both plate are placed apart from each other by a specific distance by a specific distance now let us come to the point this is our lecture super capacitor like a like a normal capacitor super capacitor also consists with two plates it also consists with two electrode plates which are which are kept apart from each other from each other super capacitor also called as super capacitor is also called as ultra capacitor it is also called as a ultra capacitor friends nowadays battery we are using battery battery supply backup supply but battery has some limitation it has pollution but the super capacitor overcome these all disadvantages of the battery and it is a renewable source, completely renewable source. So, supercapacitor gives, gives renewable, renewable energy, which can use repeatedly. And supercapacitor has energy from, has energy from some millifarads millifarads to tens farads millifarads to ten farads super capacitor are used in heavy vehicles and hybrid vehicles and in hybrid vehicles
now super capacitor can store more energy as compared to more energy as compared to regular power supply or regular batteries now come to the next point super capacitor as we know that capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the plates area of the plates and capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between two plates these are the two equation means we can write capacitor is directly proportional to area upon distance this explain this equation says that what this equation says this equation explains about if area of plate are more than capacitance also more for more capacitance for more capacitance we need to keep we need to keep we need to keep very small distance very small distance between very small distance between two plates this is the about now come to the construction of the super capacitor now super capacitor has carbon electrode and current collector on either side and one is positively charged another is a negative charge as we know the, we know that the left side is considered as a capacitance one c1 and the right side is considered as a capacitor c2 the, these two plates are separated by porous separator means insulating material is between to them now what will happen now what will happen now let us consider there are two plates suppose i am considering this above plate is a positive plate and the lower plate is a negative plate then what will happen the negative because of this because of this partition because of this insulator what will happen the negative charge will be attracted by the positive and this above positive charge will be attracted by the below negative charges now this part is a neutral part chargeless part as we as we give electric supply to these two terminals then what will happen now this neutral part will be becomes chargeless or chargeful and more energy can be stored and more energy can be stored as we know that capacitor is directly proportional to area sorry capacitance is directly proportional to area of these two plates and it is inversely proportional to the distance between them so this is about super capacitor now let us discuss about the types of the the types of the super capacitor now come to the types of the super there are three types of super capacitor mainly three types there are mainly three types of the super capacitor these are which these are these are first one is electrical double layer electrical double layer capacitor in short form it is written in the this way edlc and the second one is and second one is pseudo capacitor 
and third one is a hybrid capacity. In first one, ADLC means electric double layer capacitor. There are three types again. First is activated carbon capacitor. Second one is carbon plate. And third one is carbon monoplate. Third one, hybrid is the combination of, it is combination of pseudo plus ADLC. So these are the three types of the supercapacitor. So friends, this is supercapacitor. In next lecture, we are going to see next part. Thank you.